there is this one conceptual question. Does all the roots of the equation fx equals f inverse x lie on y equals x line? Now, when we study graph, we know that graph of y is equal to fx and y is equal to f inverse of x, they are image of each other about y equals x line. So, if we consider two functions, say y equals x square when x is greater than or equal to 0 and its inverse which is y equals root x when x is greater than or equal to 0. They are reflection of each other. So this is y equals x square and this is y equals root x. Now these two curves they intersect at two points namely 0 and 1 and both the points they lie on this line y equals x. Now answer to this question is emphatically no. It is not true that all the roots of the equation fx equals f inverse x lie on y equals x line. Now we'll take up some counter examples. Say for example, suppose we take y equals minus x. Now this is y equals minus x. Now if we take reflection about y square to x line, then it will be this line itself and we know that inverse of y equals minus x is y zero minus x itself. So all the points on this line, they are solution to this equation fx equals f inverse of x. Let us take another example. Suppose we have y equals minus x cube. Now its inverse function will be y zero minus x to the power 1 by 3. Now we draw this graph. Now y is equal to minus x cube. It will be drawn like this. And y is equal to minus cube root of x. It will be drawn like this. So though one of the root lies on y equals to x line, but there are two more roots which doesn't lie on y equals x line. Here it will have three point of intersections. So one of the root is 1, another one is 0, and this third one is minus 1. So it is not always true that roots of f inverse x equals fx will lie on y equals x. Now here the important thing is what is the condition that roots of fx equals f inverse x will lie on y equals to x line. And the condition is all the roots of fx equals f inverse x will lie on y is equal to x line if f is an increasing function. So f is monotonic increasing, then in that case, all the roots of this equation will lie on y equals to x line. And in that case, if you have to solve this equation, fx equals f inverse of x, the solution to this equation is equivalent to solving this condition, fx equals x. We are given fx equals log x minus 1 plus x when x is greater than 1 then we need to solve this equation fx equals f inverse of x. Now in this case if we look at f dash x f dash x will be 1 upon x minus 1 plus 1 and that is x upon x minus 1 and since x is greater than 1 it is greater than 0 that means this fx is increasing monotonically. So in this case the roots of the equation 
f x equals f inverse x will be same as roots of this equation which is f x equals x so basically we'll have log x minus 1 plus x equals x or log x minus 1 equals 0 so basically x is equal to 2 so this equation fx equals f inverse x will have one solution and that solution will be x is equal to 2. Let us take another example and suppose we need to solve this equation which is 2x square minus 5x plus 2 equals 5 plus under root of 9 plus 8x by 4 when x is greater than 5 by 4. Now, if you look at this function and suppose it is fx, then fx is 2x square minus 5x plus 2, then f dash x will be 4x minus 5 and when x is greater than 5 by 4, it will be greater than 0. So, this function is monotonically increasing function. Now, if we find inverse of this function, then we can write x equals 2y square minus 5y plus 2 or 2y square minus 5y plus 2 minus x equals 0. So here y will be 5 plus minus under root of 25 minus 4 into 2 and then 2 minus x whole divided by 4. So it will be this y plus minus under root of 9 plus 8x by 4. Now since this function is defined when x is greater than 5 by 4, inverse function will have a positive domain and a positive range. So here inverse of this function f inverse it will be 5 plus under root of 9 plus 8x by 4. So essentially this question is fx equals f inverse of x and this function is monotonically increasing. So rather than solving this equation, we can find the solution as fx which is 2x square minus 5x plus 2 equals x or will be 2x square minus 6x plus 2 equals 0 or x square minus 3x plus 1 equals to 0. So it will be this 3 plus minus under root of 9 minus 4 divided by 2 and this is 3 plus minus under root 5 by 2. Now we need x to be greater than 5 by 4. So the solution to this equation is x equals 3 plus under root 5 by 2. Another way of writing fx equals f inverse x is f of f x equals to x. So again, they may ask you whether all the roots of f of f x equals to x will lie on y equals x line or they'll be same as roots of f x equals to x. So again, the answer is no. This equation f of f x equals x will give the same solution as f x equal to x if f is monotonically increasing. So when f is monotonically increasing then all the roots of f inverse x equals f x or f of f x equals x will be same as f x equals x but in all the cases it may or it may not be true.